View and manage calendar events. So events are a huge deal with mobile devices. When you're away from your desk, you need to be able to view your events, create new events, and you also have meetings that you're going to be attending. You need to have access uh, to that information on the go. So within Workspace ONE Boxer, you can do all of those things. And to be honest, it's easier for me to do it on this device than again, going back to my laptop and uh, creating those events because I can do it from anywhere at any time. So this is one of the most functional uh, options under the calendar is to create an event. Let's look at it on the device. If I go to the calendar tab, you can see that there's color-coded events. Uh, I have some blue ones here, I have some green ones here. These are going to be different accounts. And if I have a team lunch, I can click on that and it allows me to see all the information, all the details. I can edit this event or I can reply back to the individuals that are attached to this event as well. It allows me to change the alarm settings. Maybe I want to receive a notification 15 minutes before, an hour before, etc. And you can see that I can uh, see the location, I can see the time, and I can see that it repeats on this schedule. All the functionality I have on my desktop or my workstation on the mobile device. View and send availability. I want to let my coworkers know if I'm available or not. Maybe they want to add an event to my calendar. So we can send the availability out to our team members. And this will let me know if I'm available, if I'm in, in a meeting, or maybe I'm out of the office and I'm not accessible at the moment. So this is a great feature that you can send out to your coworkers. It lets them know if you should be assigned to a task or to an invite. And if you aren't available, they can see when you will be available for that event. All right, so we have one tap dialing for conference calls. One tap dialing for conference calls is uh, works for me because a lot of my coworkers are not in the same building as myself. Uh, so we have conference calls every single morning. And this is done in my case via Zoom. So if I receive a Zoom invite, I can join the Zoom meeting and I can see uh, all the information from this one application. I don't have to go out to multiple applications and I definitely don't have to go to my workstation. I'll give you an example. If you are running late and you're in the car and you need to join that, move, that meeting very quickly, you can do a one tap on the event, you can join from your mobile device and you can be in that meeting without having to set up a laptop or go to your workstation. So you can see here an example of uh, an event on the device itself. There's a company meeting and I can go directly to the Zoom meeting itself by clicking on the Zoom icon or I can even click on the telephone number and it will dial into the event. Now, it doesn't have to be a Zoom meeting and be whatever type of uh, conference calling app that your company uses. It just needs to be configured on the back end. We can manage the calendar attachments inside the Boxer application as well. So sometimes a calendar event is going to include an attachment. If you click on the event, then you can actually download the attachment and it will go to your files folder. What happens if you want to see multiple calendars on your Boxer application? I know I have multiple calendars. I have one for my personal life. I have one for my company. And you might be actually pulled into a separate calendar from an external vendor. So you can have all these calendars in one single location and they're highlighted and designated by a color tab. So you're gonna color code each calendar event so you know exactly which event is associated with that calendar. So your personal calendar could be blue and your corporate calendar could be orange or uh, you could have an external calendar from a vendor, a different color. And as you create those events, those events will show up in the coordinating color. If you take a look on the device, you can see that I have multiple events here and I can see I have blue ones, I have green ones here. And if I were to create a new event, then I can choose which calendar the event is associated with. You can see here we have calendars, uh, birthday, home events, holidays, and you can create those new events, uh, you can customize them if you want to in the app itself. If you want to customize your calendar settings, we can do so. So those color-coded tabs, you can see that we can change them. Maybe you don't like red for your corporate calendar color, you can change that to blue or green. Uh, we do so in the settings, and uh, it's very easy to do so if you go back over to the device, we go to the settings tab, then we can choose to
change the default color here. And if I click on that calendar, then I can choose which color is associated with that calendar. And again, this is your own personal preference. This allows you to see different calendars very easily. Uh, and you can, of course, associate a color with a home calendar and know the difference between an event uh, that is a corporate event.